Hey guys, welcome back. And in this video, we're going to be talking about how to turn on and off your private web browsing in the Firefox web browser. So initially, you're going to start by just launching uh, Firefox like you would normally do. And to switch it over to private web browsing, you're going to go to this uh, little menu button over here that's indicated by the three horizontal lines. And you're just going to go down and click New Private Window. And when you do that, a new web page pops up and it'll obviously it'll say private browsing and it'll be indicated by this purple icon up here that's right next to your minimize button and when you see that you know that you're in a private web browser and what private browsing will do is make it so that Firefox uh, doesn't save your visited pages your searches your cookies or temporary files Firefox will, however, save your bookmarks and downloads, which is important that they do that because, you know, it'd be kind of frustrating if you bookmarked something or downloaded something and then it was gone just because you were in private browsing. And then you also get your tracking protection so that, um, you know, Firefox will block, block trackers that collect information about your browsing behavior. All right, so this is one way to turn on private browsing. If you always want to be private with your browsing, another way to do it is to go back to the menu and go to options. And then when you're in options, go down to privacy. And then under history, you're going to go to never remember history. And that's essentially, you know, making it so that your private browsing is always on. So once you click this and you restart Firefox, from then on in, uh, Firefox won't be saving your you know searches and tracking you. All right, so now to go back to our original point, we're in this private browsing that's separate from our you know regular tracked browsing. So to get back, you just exit out of that browser and it'll take you you know to your original browser that you had opened. But if you had exited out of this browser, the next time you click your Firefox icon, it will launch in just normal browsing mode. It won't be a private browser. So if you have your remembered history turned on, to notify that you're in private browsing, you need to see that little icon up here. But let's just, I'll show you the difference when you have um, never remember history. So then it'll, Firefox will say, you must restart to enable this feature, so we'll do that. And then we'll launch another browser. Oh, oops, we just launched two. So let's exit out of this one. All right. So you can see that we don't have a little private browsing icon, but essentially this still is like private browsing. So to show you, when we go to new private window, and it will launch a new web page, we don't get that little purple icon to show up because we already have Firefox not remembering our history or tracking us. So that's the two different ways to turn on and off private browsing. Uh, thanks for watching this video and subscribe for more content.